In tonight's 10-15 difference, tornadoes may grab the headlines, but lightning is actually Colorado's number one weather danger. Our state ranks second in the country for the number of lightning-related deaths. And approximately one in every 50 lightning strikes results in an insurance claim because of property damage. Well, a Boulder company says it may have the answer to the lightning threat to buildings. 7 News meteorologist Richard Ortner explains. Oakland at Denver play has been suspended because of severe lightning in the area, as you can see. It's a threat that's bigger than any linebacker, faster than any running back, and serious enough to sack a Broncos game for almost 30 minutes. But Colorado's number one weather killer is also a major threat to business. What I think happened is we took an indirect hit, and that resulted in... Um, internal damage in this facility to a lot of electronics equipment. Sensitive and expensive electrical equipment used by Westminster's Tri-State to supply electric power to its customers across 250,000 square miles. Equipment failure is not an option and now there appears to be a solution. Just prior to a lightning strike, objects on the ground are charged up by the electricity in the storm cloud. This moment is critical to lightning formation, but it's also an opportunity. Um, so our, our systems prevent direct strikes by uh, keeping the electric charge in the protected area below the level necessary for lightning to form. Just like the tower, this is a lightning dissipation array. The little points along here disrupt the charge from forming, making lightning less likely. It's just like an anti-lightning rod. In this demonstration video, you can see the simulated lightning striking the rod. That is, until it moves under the umbrella of protection. Lightning Eliminators is a boulder-based company, and the lightning dissipation arrays are made right here. But their reach is international. Yeah, I just got back from Bangladesh doing a job for Chevron, a big gas plant, which uh, they don't like lightning around a gas plant. From Argentina to Zimbabwe, customers from across the planet share this Colorado connection. Uh, what our clients really have in common is either they're serving a, a critical need in the community or they are protecting a large investment. By preventing direct strikes, we reduce the risks of lightning to virtually zero. Since that time, it's been very quiet. We have not had any uh, damage to our facilities as a result of either direct or indirect lightning. Richard Ortner, 7 News. Richard says it's important to note that this technology is designed to protect large structures, not individuals. The number one safety rule for people, seek shelter when lightning danger is nearby.